Hello everybody. So today I want to show you some compatibility issues that I'm seeing with some of these VGA to HDMI adapters. These are some little adapters that you can get on Amazon that let you plug in a modern monitor with a uh, HDMI cable to the VGA connector of an older computer. So if you don't know, uh, if you if you're not familiar with it, VGA is the standard uh, connection that computers from you know I guess the nineties until very recently, until maybe ten years ago, <laughs> not recently, but uh, have been using to to connect to monitors. So that's an analog signal. It's it's got RGB in it, and uh, these adapters um, are allow you to convert the analog signal to a digital signal that can be um, then sent to a modern LCD monitor. And these are uh, USB powered, so let me let me show you a little bit about it because um, uh, on this end you, you see that you have the VGA uh, plug and that connects to the computer. In the back you have the HDMI output that goes to the uh, with a with a cable with an HDMI cable to your monitor, and then usually uh, you you'll see a USB uh, port on one side of the unit, um, or or in the rear, like in this one over here, and this one, and that is for for the circuitry instead of here to be powered up, and then you'll also see a 3.5 uh, millimeter. Uh, headphone jack as well and what this allows you to do is it you can get this the audio out of the computer and this will mix in the audio into the HDMI digital stream so that the speakers on your monitor or on your HDTV uh, will um, will play the the sounds coming out of your computer so that's awesome if you if you want to have like a retro machine that is connected to your TV that will that will do it. So if you ever seen these, you you need to get something that is powered, right? So this this has active circuitry in there that does the uh, encoding of the analog signal to a digital stream. So if you see some of these that don't have any power or anything like that, they're likely designed to work with a specific device and not a general you know purpose device like this that can plug into any VGA cable sorry, any VGA source and uh, encoded to to um, a digital um, HDMI stream. So I have this one. This one I, I, um, I like, but it has a, a right angle uh, power connector. So when you're getting this, make sure that you you're, you, you understand how the, um, the wires come out of it. Uh, because you can see here, if I plug this one into that, the USB cable here will interfere with the... Um, power plug it it will work it will fit in there but it's you know you, you risk damaging things the other ones that i have here are a little bit better for the setup that i'm going for this is the output with the hdmi uh, ca uh, cable plugs into and then it has the same setup it has a usb uh, power in input and audio input here and on the other side now i have a little bit more freedom uh, more more space around the connector. I can just plug that into the VGA port, and it doesn't interfere with any other cable because all the bulky. Uh, let me just zoom out a little bit here. All the bulky uh, connections are on the other side here. All right. So now that you are familiar with the uh, HDMI, uh, you know, adapter itself, I want to show you something. I want to show you. A couple of machines, and I want to I want to test this out, and I, I want to show you some behavior that I want you to be aware of, which is this won't work with every computer um, in every scenario, and and let me let me explain what that means. Uh, uh, these older computers they like to send out text into you know if you have an old 386 or an old 486 that you want to use uh, with your HDTV or your monitor and you and you want to use one of these adapters you need to understand that these adapters generally are going to work with uh, very standard resolutions like 640 by 480 or 1024 by 768 800 by 600 
But the moment you start feeding it different resolutions, like I'll show you here. This is the text mode that this particular Rage ATI Rage XL wants to use. And this is 720 by 400 at 70 hertz. That will not work with these. You'll get a blank screen. And I'll show you that in a minute. Let me, let me go ahead and stop here. Hook up the HDMI adapter to my DV, my, my HDMI monitor here. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I've gone ahead and set up this adapter with my little portable HDMI monitor right here. And I plugged in the VGA into the computer. And I'm going to turn on the power right now and I'm going to show you what happens. So in a moment now, we will see the splash screen because that is being shown with a graphical, um, with a, like a, a standard VGA resolution. But as soon as that is shown and we switch to a text mode, it's not going to show anything. It says no signal. But I'm going to go ahead and press enter on the key here because I know that it's displaying a, 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 um, a startup screen that I have set up for this computer. And if I'm going to hit, and I'm going to show you that right now. Let me just switch over to VGA on my standard LCD monitor. As you can see there, I have it was showing a a, um, a a a text that I'm going to show you. This is 720 by 400, still on this UI. So that's that even that doesn't show up. But I'm going to go ahead and plug in the HDMI again, the HDMI adapter. And as soon as I make it to the desktop, see nothing is going to show yet but as soon as i make it to the desktop and this switches to 1024 by 768 i'm going to see the desktop image right here and that is because these devices must be only compatible with more standard uh, vga resolutions and text mode and, and a lot of these uh, uh devices there you go you see uh is sent in 720 by 400 which these these encoders don't like so that's unfortunate because a lot of ma machines uh, do use that resolution for text mode so so you can see here the adapter does work really well when the resolution is a, a standard vga resolution but if you ever bought one of these things and it doesn't work for you it, it might be that you're sending in text mode from your like 386 486 pentium pc and you're blaming this device rightly because it is not doing the encoding, but you're you're scratching your head. Why why does it you know why does it work with a standard monitor and not with this? Well, now you know. Like the encoding system that these things have doesn't support every possible resolution that would come out of a VGA port. So you know you might you will d definitely need to use something much more advanced and probably more costly if you want to capture like uh, every possible resolution. I've seen other YouTubes using like the RetroTINK or um, other devices that are a little bit more advanced and more purpose built uh, to capture all the timing, uh, all, the, all the resolutions and everything that comes out of the VGA port, uh, regardless of what's being sent. So they're a lot more forgiving. This one, you know, they, they, it just says no signal. So it's something to keep in mind there, okay? So now I'm going to show you that some computers actually use a standard VGA resolution for text mode. And in those cases, you will be able to see text using this devices. So let me, let me show you that in a second. Okay, so now I have another computer here. This is another little thing client. And this one has an S3 Unichrome, you know, one of these embedded... Uh, GPUs that is usually only found on these uh, thin clients or via chipset motherboards and this one actually shoots out I'll, sh I'll show you right now look it'll it, I'm, I'm powering it up with the HDMI adapter and any moment now I will see the output of the screen and check it out I'm seeing um, text why is that why does this one work and this one doesn't. Well, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in again 
my video monitor so I can inspect what resolution what resolution is this thing set, sending out all right so there you go that one is showing the text now and if I go here ah this GPU decides to use 640 by 480 at 60 Hertz which is a more standard you know typical VGA resolution that everybody's familiar with and that's probably why this works this uh, device works perfectly fine with that because this whoever implemented the encoding algorithms in this ASIC in the chip inside of this uh, decided to only support certain you know more standard uh, 4 by 3 ratio or other types of VGA resolutions that um, they consider to be uh, part of the a standard list like 640 by 480, 800 by 600, uh, 1024 by 68. You know all these all these resolutions that you when you think of VGA you think of that's probably what they built into this chip and it, at the moment you send something that it doesn't recognize it just gives up and says well I can't do anything with this because this is not part of my my approved list of resolutions I guess so yeah that's unfortunate but it's something to keep in mind so if you if you have a, a machine that is sending out some kind of text mode and you're hoping to use one of these adapters try to see if your monitor like will give you the information that you need to to determine whether you're gonna actually have uh, a good experience or not because if you see a, an, a weird resolution when you're displaying text well weird in the in 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 in, in the sense that it's not like 640 by 480 or 800 by 600 you know, because um, text is coming out at 720 by 400 and many of the older machines. So um, it's not weird for that, but it is weird for this. It doesn't expect that resolution. So, yeah, I, I just thought that was an interesting thing because I, I I was actually scratching my head. I thought this was, I thought I, I had uh, some kind of like broken adapters or, or some were better than others because I, I had a, you know, I randomly ran into this issue and I didn't spend the time to actually see if it was computer or adapter that was causing the the uh, weirdness that I was seeing. But now I see that the adapters are all kind of the same. They probably all use the same internals. And the machines are the ones that are deciding to either use a, a standard VGA uh, resolution to send out text like this, this, this is. So this chipset must be doing its own... Uh, you know, encoding of text res text on to VGA resolution. So this one must be doing something non-standard because the standard I think is this, which is 720 by 400. And this one is doing something non-standard, which happens to work with this device. So yeah, I, I think just, you know, be careful out there. If you spend some money on one of these adapters, um, be sure that you, you know, you can return it in case uh, things don't work. All right, well, I hope you found this interesting uh, and useful and it saved you some money and time. So if you like this kind of content, please subscribe and uh, like the video, share it. Uh, I'm trying to grow this, this, this channel up and provide some more useful content like this that uh, might help people out there. Uh, so let, let me know in the comments what you think about this, if you've run into this, uh, if you found this useful, um, and, uh, on, and I'll see you next time, all right? Have a good one.